you guys like my hoodie i know right it's cute it says skincare is my love language this is my cousin's hoodie i honestly wear this hoodie every single day whether she was my cousin or not I wear this hoodie every day it's so warm it's so comfortable and i wear this anywhere everywhere if you guys want this same hoodie um you definitely can check her out on instagram she has another, another color i believe i'll probably link that below or have like some type of attachment on the screen so you guys can see that she has more things available and more things in store for her brand so kudos to you cousin and you guys go follow her on instagram Make us out here and welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I haven't said that in so long. Crazy, anyways. <laughs> Hey guys, Make us out here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like and comment on this video. I'm not gonna say too much on this video. This video is um, all about hair. It's kind of like, where have you been? What's going on? But that's for another time, another video. I was sent a wig by Yo Lava, Yo Lava Hair. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I said it right. Yo Lava. Yo Lava or Yo Lava. Whichever one it is. I was sent a Jerry Curl Natural Black Human Hair. This is 26 inches. Be sure to leave the link below for this hair so you won't have to miss out. I also have a discount code for you guys to use. So if you want to purchase any of the hair, any of the wigs, go ahead and check them out at YoLava.com. I'm going to just hop straight into this video. I'm going to be unboxing this um, beautiful wig. I'm going to be showing you guys all that comes out of this package. be showing you guys how I bleached the knots, plucked um the wig and also how i styled it i'm not going to style it as of yet i'm just going to show you guys the natural state before i do anything else to it as far as tinting the lace and things like that just so you guys can get up close and personal so i'm going to be showing you guys those things at this video so if you guys want to see how it is done and how i slayed it then just keep on watching okay so um first thing first i basically took it out the pack and basically was just analyzing it going over how it looks how the knots um, were looking. It was, it said it was pre-plucked, but honestly, um, it, it could use a little bit more plucking. Um, the knots were fairly big, but we're not gonna get into that just yet. Um, I just want you guys to see how good these curls looks. The camera wasn't focusing very well, but honestly, the, the natural state of this wig was absolutely beautiful. I was just like in awe. But starting out, I'm gonna bleach these knots. I'm just showing you guys how it looks on the inside. It had a comb in the back with a, uh, like a lace on the back as well. Um, two combs on the side, one in the front, and then of course the full lace front. I believe this is a 13 by four. Uh, so starting out, before, I'm using 40 volume developer, and then of course the BW2, aluminum foil, gloves. You guys make sure you wear your gloves because I didn't start out wearing my gloves, but you will see I got into them gloves, honey. So I, I had this pack, it's pretty old, but look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, okay? Um, I use that and then just a little bit of this 40 volume, volume developer, but you'll see me pouring a little bit more up in here because it wasn't getting numb um, right here. It wasn't getting like, you know, the consistency that I wanted, but you guys know if you haven't seen plenty of, uh, you know, how to bleach the knot tutorials, make sure it's thick enough to where it doesn't fall off the spatula. So starting out, you want to start with the back first because that's the one that that's going to process the fastest. And honestly, the front, um, 
isn't going to process as fast so always start at, in the back first because that one takes the longest those knots are the biggest so keep that in mind start back and then go to the front i'm not using um you know too much pressure when i'm applying this bleach i'm going fairly soft of course this camera is sped up so it looks as though i'm going pretty hard but i'm not trust me i am going as soft and gentle as possible i'm getting all around those uh edges the knots everywhere i'm making sure that i'm using all of this bleach um because i really want this to look seamless so i just uh, basically folded up my aluminum foil put it around this this is just so that way that uh bleach can uh, develop a little bit faster and then i got the same little you know that comes in a pack with the wig i use that to basically mold it as a actual like make it look like i think it's a head and you want to flip it upside down well on its back if that makes sense um because you don't want the develop the bleach to bleach upward where it goes onto the hair strands you want the bleach to bleach down so it can go away from the hair strands so you know no bleach you want to be on your hair so i basically started at uh, 15 minutes you guys see it was like midnight <laughs> 15 minutes first now it wasn't looking good so i added another 10 minutes and then of course my phone you see that i had two 10 minutes so that's 25 minutes and then i added another nine minutes and then another 15 minutes because honey these knots were not bleaching i mean like i tried everything i just kept doing it over and over and over and it was just like okay so back to this hair look at the knots after almost 45 minutes to an hour of bleaching these knots the knots were just having a hard time lifting that is not a good thing but honestly i work with what i got honey so ain't nothing i can do that i can't fix i can try to fix it but if it ain't fixable then you know that's it but this was definitely fixable honey um one, after that 45 minutes i basically washed it off uh, with cold water and scrubbed it or whatever make sure all that bleach was off of the lace and then i went in with the uh neutralizer shampoo this is basically to stop the shampoo i mean sample <laughs> this is to stop the bleaching method the bleaching process oh my god what's up with me <laughs> it's to stop the bleaching method and i basically got in those roots honey i made sure that it was absolutely no bleach on there um i got in there with my hands as you guys can see right there i'm trying to make sure that those knots are basically done bleaching I went in for a second shampoo after I scrubbed the first one and it was pretty much good to go to head over to the next step and I'm going to show you guys how it looks after I just neutralized it not so bad it was actually pretty good but of course you can see it's a little bronzy so we're going to tone that down a little bit um in just a second I'm just showing you guys like how good it looks so far so good the next step is the bronze off this is by matrix I actually love this shampoo this is like my third time using it it's blue shampoo because of course blue cancel out orange and purple cancel out yellow so when you use that purple shampoo just because it's popular honey it's not getting the bronze effect out. it's not getting that orange look out it's really just not doing anything unless it's yellow that's why you see a lot of hairstylists using yellow for like 613 because it definitely neutralizes it and it calms down that yellow it takes it completely out of it so when you use bron the blue shampoo is basically um take canceling out that orange shade so as you guys can see right here when i'm i'm going to basically show you guys how it looks after that blue shampoo um and what it did to it after i shampooed it once more actually i conditioned it with this this i really love this this is hydrating and marilla oil it really had this wig like i mean it was beautiful <laughs> after i did this like the curls it was like loving it after i did this i'm not sure 
if it was just because of the oil that was in it but it was super lightweight of course don't don't think because it's oil in there but it was absolutely beautiful i was like yes okay we working with something now because look at those curls shiny and cute not just because of the water but because of that look at that after those three steps it was it was beautiful now look at that look at the knots beautiful you don't see no orange in there i should have showed it a little bit longer i don't know what was wrong with me but this was after all of the shampoo and the bleaching just a little bit of hair came out not to worry because you know it it could be way worse than that so once i'm putting this wig onto this head um i just wanted to basically show you guys how the curls were looking um right before i bought the get ready to install it i had basically detangled it and you know i didn't put anything on it far as leave-in conditioner or any type of curl moisturizer this is the natural state after a complete wash and honey she is looking beautiful i mean like curls flowing like look at that beautiful i was just like wow because i'm a curly girl okay one thing about it i'm gonna give me some i'm gonna wear me some curly hair so now i didn't put this dollar 25 tree bag up on here so you can guys can see the knots for what it is um i basically just want to start the plucking process um everybody process is different of course let me just let that out, let that be known <laughs> i'm not like a pluck expert majority of my wigs already come pre-plucked so i am like in the clear with plucking but what well, a girl gotta do what she gotta do so when she gotta pluck it's gonna get done okay <laughs> and i basically plug custom to my hairline um, and I have a very, very low hairline. So every time I put on a wig, honey, I know that my natural edges are bound to show. So uh, it's, it's, it's a love hate thing. Okay. I love when, cause my, I have actual baby hairs, not adult hairs, but we can go to this day. <laughs> but the majority of the time I'm plucking to basically, uh, customize and fit for my head so you see me basically on the edges more than you see me in the back it's because i know for a fact that when i lay this hair down i need to know that it's going to look like my actual hair so i am basically plugging however i feel because once i see like okay it ain't looking right on this side it's looking right on this side i just go based off that and this is how much hair came out during the plugging, plugging process so before and after both look absolutely beautiful of course i'm going to customize it based off of how i like it and honestly when she was on my head it just looks absolutely beautiful so again this is a 26 inch uh wig jerry curl from yolova hair i do appreciate you yolova for sending me this wig all of its um, description and everything about this wig will be listed in the des description box below along with my discount code so you guys can get money off here is the beautiful curls once more and i do hope you guys enjoy this video there is more on the way so be sure to put on those post not notifications don't forget to like and comment on this video and of course always please subscribe to my channel and yeah bye <laughs> Okay, so here's the hair now that it has officially dried. And as you guys can see, these curls are absolutely beautiful. Like, look at that. You don't see curls like that are not the same. Like, this.